Hey guys, welcome to today's video where we are taking a ferry across the Atlantic Ocean to avoid flying with Felix. And we will tell you everything about the whole process, about booking, giving you some tips and tricks how to make the best out of it with the dog. We are traveling from Gran Canaria, which is an island in the Canary Islands, to mainland Spain in Huelva. And the ride takes around 33 minutes. Minutes, I wish it takes 33 <laughs> hours. No, it's unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Felix and I are here with our luggage. <laughs> we already made it to our room. We will show you more in a second. But right now, we just have to catch up on everything we still need internet for because we won't have a connection for the next two days. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to our dog friendly cabin. <laughs> it's very tiny and super expensive, but it's totally worth it because you can take your dog in here it's super nice that there is a window in this room but it's quite shaky today <laughs> both of us are not so we don't have strong stomachs let's say it that way <laughs> felix doesn't care <laughs> we're in the dog department many dogs next door huh yeah here we get a little wardrobe same on the other side but not much fits in there and then we have four beds this one can be folded down like we did on the other side to put our stuff i have no idea how four people fit in here <laughs> this is to be a room for four well over here felix has his food and then we also got a tiny bathroom That's it. We can take a shower in here, use the toilet, more than enough. And in case you're wondering where Felix goes to the toilet, we can show you right now. Dogs cannot only walk around, but there are also cages for them, so they can stay in there. And three weeks ago, when we took the ferry to get to Gran Canaria, the employees here told us that Felix has to get into one of those cages as well. It was an error in the system. We actually booked a dog-friendly cabin like this one, but there was no more free dog cabin for us when we arrived on the ferry. So they told us to go up there and there were very, very bad conditions for the dogs. It was very hot, no air conditioning. So it was not an option for us to leave Felix there. We cannot recommend you to book not a dog cabin if you want to take a ferry across the Atlantic like we do. So here are the doggo cages. Yeah, they're not that nice. On the roof and it's pretty warm in there. Felix is here. So when Felix got into the box we tried everything we could and after some arguments we were allowed to take him with us into a normal cabin so he could spend the time with us. Yeah, we're getting you out of here. Let's get you out of here. on the boat where Felix is not allowed or dogs in general but we will give you a quick tour anyways You 
the shaking. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How were the slumbers? It was good. It was amazing. <laughs> A little bit shaky, but all in all, it was very good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy, Mister? Sun is rising. Let's check it out from deck. But first, slurp break. Someone just had a little beauty treatment and all of this came off. You got a brother now. It's dark outside again. Our things are packed up and day two on this ferry is coming to an end. We are almost there, back in Spain, mainland Spain. You happy? Touching the grass again? Yes, going for a longer walk? Going for a gussy? Maybe? <laughs> Boop. Boop. <laughs> Two small tips if you ever take one of these ferry rides with your dog, bring enough water. We finished all of that during the last two days, and also for Felix because uh, the water from the tap is not drinkable. And the other tip is to bring some snacks to do some exercises because you can't do much with your dog and this is a great way for mental activity. Mission! Mission! Yeah, my mission! Yeah! Fütchen! Und high five! Und speak! Super! We are about to leave the ferry and we just saw that there is another dog container under deck where the cars are and it's super loud here, very warm. Yes, I'm already sweating and I'm just here for like five minutes or so. Like next to, to the machine rooms and it's not accessible during the day, like only for 30 minutes or something. And we even saw some people getting their dogs out of there, so it's, it's, it's being used and... How can you put your dog into a cage? Under deck? I don't get it. I really don't get it. This is the, the noise. <laughs> Those are the dogs that were staying under the deck right here at the cars. He's not amused either. It's not good, huh? That's it for today's video. We hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a, little, a thumbs up. A paw up. A paw up. And subscribe yeah. to our channel so that you won't miss any of our next adventures. For example, when Felix goes to Africa. Huh? Go to Africa? Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. By ferry to avoid flying with Felix on a cook deal. Er hat dann gerade aufgehört. Felix, smile! This guy is falling asleep. Heck you! Smile. This is the introduction of your new video. Don't be so... Oh. <laughs> Traveling is tiring. Wieso wollen wir eine Runde rausgehen? Wollen wir eine Runde mit dem Auto wegfahren? Oder vielleicht mit dem Kamel fahren? Wollen wir noch mal eine Runde mit dem Kamel fahren? Wollen wir mit dem Kamel fahren? Kamel fahren? Ja! Kamel. Kamel.